soothing them through illness, and disciplining them as needed. These are the hands that will hold your face and wipe your tears in wonder and awe that you would cry for her. Red, may you remember these things and treasure them all the days of your life. Look, the hands you are holding, young and strong, are the hands of the one who is to be your husband. Those are the hands that will work long hours to earn a living for you and the family with which God blesses you. Those are the hands that may sometimes look large and clumsy, yet will be gentle as he holds your baby for the very first time. Those are the hands that will wipe tears from your eyes, that will comfort you in illness and hold you when fear or grief assaults your soul. Look upon your life, your love, and your devotion. He will lean for strength and inspiration. He will look to you for encouragement, for cheerfulness, and for confidence. No matter what others may think, they may forget him, lose, lose confidence in him, or turn their backs upon him. Luke, you must not. May your life and love be the inspiration that will constantly lead him to greater dependence on the Lord. Red and Luke, as you join your hands together, Remember that these are the hands that you will lift in praise to God for the blessings He bestows upon you. And also that these are the hands that you will need daily to fold in prayer as you pray for each other and for your family as it may grow in the years to come. At this juncture, I would like for Red and Luke to publicly express their commitment to love and respect one another through their exchange of vows, followed by the giving of rings to each other. May I ask the best man to please get the rings? This will be now the end of our sixth anniversary as boyfriend and girlfriend. Happy anniversary, mahal ko, but the beginning of our married life. Did you know that I promised my parents to be a good ate, a good role model? Hi, Mommy and Daddy. You know how much I adore and love you. So my first promise is, I, par I promise my parents to be a good role model as I'm the eldest among my three siblings, Kiel, Kyla, and Windsor. And I will still fulfill it by being a good wife, a faithful wife, a forgiving wife, so that my siblings can embody it. I vow to watch your favorite superhero, your favorite action movie, even on the last full show, even I'm not a fan of it, and it's already late at night, because I love you, 3000. I vow to always love you and trust you. I promise to put God above our love. Lastly, I vow to remember that neither one of us is perfect, but strive to remind myself of the ways that we are perfect for each other. That's why I promise to choose to love you always, whatever circumstances will come. Thank you for standing here with me, with all of our family, loved ones, and friends, shouting to the Lord our love for each other. Thank you for your undying patience to my tantrums attitude, which most of us know. I love you, Richard Elred Serato Benaflor, my mako, ang aking mahal, ang padangaton kong maray, ang aking red, ang kabiyak ng buhay ko, ang aking asawa. Luke, would you place the ring on Red's ring finger? Hold it there, and please repeat after me. Red. Red. Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a symbol. 
as a symbol of my vows to you of my vows to you whenever you look at it whenever you look at it know that i love know that i love honor honor and cherish you and cherish you above all others above all others red you may say your vows mako you From the day I met you until the day you stand in front of me, no words can define how beautiful you are while you are staring at me. In this world full of surprises, I promise you to love you more because your love and smile are priceless. I will work hard not for the salary, but I will work hard for us to build a beautiful family. I know it's hard, but I know as long as I have you, we can make things possi impossible possible. Today I understand why you were always in the kanan, in the kanan while we are sleeping. Because at the end of the day, you were always right. <laughs> From now on, I will take care of you every day. I will cook for you every day. I will kiss you like there's no tomorrow. And most of all, I will protect you as long as I am with you. But there is nothing. I, but there is one thing I can't do. I can never make a beautiful vow as beautiful as you. I love you. Red, Red, would you place the ring on Luke's ring finger? Hold it there and repeat after me. Luke, Luke, receive this ring. Receive this ring as a symbol of my vows to you. As a symbol of my vows to you. Whenever you look at it, whenever you look at it, know that I love. Know that I love. Honor, honor, and cherish you. And cherish you above all others. Above all others. The Bible is the Word of God, which serves as the light unto our feet and the light unto our path. The Bible also serves as the token by which the husband accepts his responsibility for being the spiritual leader and loving spouse that God wants him to be for his family. Read in Luke, I now ask both of you to place your hands on the Bible and make this solemn affirmation. Relying on God's help, do you read, promise to abide by the precepts of the Bible in all aspects of your life together with you as the spiritual head of your household? If so, say, I do. I do. And do you, Luke, also vow to abide by the instructions of this book to guide your life together? If so, say, I do. I do. Can I have the coins, please? 